Yo, 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 welcome back to another Raven Dawn video. This video, it's just launch day on Raven Dawn, January 16th. It's about 12 p.m. And we're just now uh, trying to do the I'd tutorial. Better not. Your dad would kill me if anything happened to you out there. And I'd rather take on 10 brigands than have to fight your old man. <laughs> eh, maybe so. But I need to hear that from your folks. Tell your mom and dad I said hello. I'll make sure no brigands get into the village on my watch. Not a chance. Level up again. Let's get it. So I probably got more. Yeah, I got more archetypes. Can't level anything up yet though. I gotta wait. This is my character so far. This is my stats. So obviously, since we're a wizard, we're going with intelligence. Oh, what else is here? Mana regeneration. That's good too. Wisdom. Spell defense. I'll probably go straight DPS for the time being until I start needing to have mana, and then I'll start. Putting points into wisdom. Ah, here comes the warrior and their fierce companion. I'll assume you figured out how the compass works then. I told you the compass was magical. I'm just glad you found bandits so fast. Was he out by the gate again? Huh. I'll never know how you seem to understand that dog so well. It's almost like you two speak the same language. Anyways, it's good you're back. I know it's your birthday, but there's still much to get done today. Exactly. Happy to hear that fatherly advice I always give you is finally sinking in. And I believe the tutorial is now done. I'm not 100% sure since this is launch. See some woodcutters. See people building a a, bit, a bridge. A bridge. I can speak there for a minute. My bad. Oh, got some deer, bro. Oh, it's already equipped. Nice. Okay. So attack power is twenty-five. Defense is twenty-five. Nice. Click on the stats tab. Distribute the two remaining points between vitality, might, intelligence, dexterity, and wisdom. I already did that. Every time your effective level increases, you increase two points to be distribu distributed between these five stats. They influence directly in your attributes, which you can see in the details below. <coughs> Excuse me, if you made a bad choice, don't worry. You can reset them for free until like, level 20. Let's get it. Oh, I'm definitely going red and black. Yeah, that looks sick. As for the hair, I'm going black. Not red. Yeah, ever since we were young, you're the only one who can actually understand me, remember? By the way, last night I heard you talking in your sleep again. Were you German of back then? The past? You know, before, before everything happened? I guess so. I was just a kid. I guess so. Been happening a lot lately, huh? So many memories buried here. Makes it really hard to leave. Leave? You can't be serious. We've only been planning this for months. Sigh. You always were a little groggy first thing in the morning 
Good thing you still have me around. Today we have we leave Lydia for good. I don't want to leave. Where are we going? The only place is to go Raven Dawn, of course. Raven Dawn. Coming back to you now. Good if we're going to catch the boat. We've got to get a move on it soon. Before we leave, make sure to look around the house for anything that might help us on the journey. Don't forget anything. I'll wait by the front door. Okay. So. And we're downstairs. Gonna search this. Got some health potions. I'm gonna go upstairs now for a minute. Can I search that chest? No, I can't search that chest. Anything in here I can search? Nothing. Okay. Back downstairs. Go to the front door. Oh, I gotta my inventory. I'm gonna put this on the hot bar. So it's on two. Try to get to equal sign. Talk to the dog. Ready to leave? I think so. Take a good look around. If you if everything goes to plan, we'll never be back here. Say I found this old letter with some of your dad's things that didn't get destroyed. Judging by the seal, I think it's Lucian Ravencrest's famous letter. Let's read it. What does it say? Let's read it. You read my mind. Here, I'll let you do the honors. My friends. Now we're in a cutscene. My friends, helplessly we have watched as our homeland, Lydaria, breaks and crumbles, its coasts claimed by dark waters. Our homes gone, our families oh, fractured, the legacy of our ancestors engulfed by the cataclysm. Damn. When I left Lydaria shores to find land all those months ago, some of our best ships and greatest warriors followed me across the endless seas. Some claimed we deserted our people. You believed we sailed to our doom. Many times did we despair. For weeks on end, we saw nothing but water and sky. Fuck. Waves and war sought to break us. We released ravens into the clouds over and over again. Always they return to the ship. I'm really digging this uh, cutscene. It's, it's very well done we for this game. On the horizon, there we saw it. A new land. Raven dawn. Here there is promise. Green fields far as the eye can see waiting to be tilled. Forests thick with lumber, the waters rich with fish, even the caves sparkle with wealth. Ooh, let's get it. I know I cannot give back all that you have lost, but I can offer what the gods robbed from us in Lydaria. A future. I will not lie to you. The voyage to Ravendon is perilous. Many will perish. And those who survive will only find more danger. Ancient runes filled with traps and deadly magics. Forgotten evils lurking. Voice acting is pretty well done, too. But I ask, what is left of Lydaria? Its great cities lie in rubble, while robber knights and warlords slay each other over the remains. Will you simply survive, barely scraping by until your home, too, is claimed by the depths? That is no life. Brave the endless seas and forge your legacy. Live will. as a knight, earn like a merchant, or steal like an outlaw. We'll In do them all, area, bro. That choice was taken from you. In Raven Dawn, you decide. Very well done, cutscene. Very well done, indeed. Your dad must have held on to the letter for a long time, and it was always his dream to brave the journey. Um, before we leave the village, what do you think about stopping to say our last goodbye to your parents? 
There are some resilient flowers in the garden outside. Let's pick some along the way. They'd like that. I'll follow you. And hey, remember that compass your dad gave you? If you get lost, try using that. Who knows, maybe that old hunk of metal will finally come in handy. Let's go. Gather some flowers in the front yard, so I gotta figure out where the flowers are. Not over here. Wait, what is that? That's flowers. It's glowing, bro. It's flowers. Alright, so we gotta keep moving. Let's use that compass. So we gotta go up to the graveyard, I'm guessing. getting worse. It makes me sad to leave everything behind, but it's just not safe anymore. Since there's no one left to repair the bridge, we'll need to take the long way through the woods. Best be on our way, everything but drama. Yes, I'm ready. Now we can go. We better stay alert. The roads can't be trusted these days. Lots of desperate, hungry people wandering the land, thinking about it raises my hackles. You go first? Nah, just stay behind me, bro. Lead the way, everything but drama. Follow me, then. Hey, you seem different, kind of like you were on your birthday all those years ago. You cut the scarecrow clean in half, remember? Okay, so I can open up this. Erupt. Nice. Got a new skill, bro. Let's get it. Your new ability consumes Aether to increase its effectiveness, so don't forget to try it out. You can also manage the order of the items and skills in your ability bar. Just make sure to open the lock found in the top right corner of the bar first. So it's right here. Gotta check the compass again. So we're gonna go this way. Hold on, what was that dog saying? I can hardly believe we're on our way to Raven Dawn together, leaving our home behind after all this time. Mom and Dad always warned us about the dangers of the wilderness, so hold your weapon tight. Because at this point, you're probably capable of using it its capable of using its full potential. Each weapon type has a unique skill which anyone who's ready can utilize. Timing this skill with your other abilities could be the difference between life and death. Nice. Alright, so I guess I'm gonna go this way. Yep. Find a way to the docks to the northern woods. Oh, I hear a dog. Oh, shit. I shredded them, bro. I just gotta get used to it. Docks are way up there, bro. But there's rubble in the way. What do I do here? Oh, the dock scene up there. It's this way. What am I saying? Oh, there's a guy. There's an Who's old there? Man. Oh, it's just you, youngster. I'd offer you lunch, but I don't think this mouse is fat enough to fill both our bellies. 
<laughs> you call that lunch more like a furry ball of disease? Ha! <laughs> yeah, for real, bro. Starvation or illness. Ain't exactly a lot of options left to us here. Just trying to survive. One mouse at a time. Jesus. Sorry about that, guys. I just dropped my speaker and my phone at the same time. Probably heard a loud bang. Sorry about that. You can leave this place behind. You know that's what I'm doing. Off to Raven Dawn, eh? The promised land. Good for you. Had a feeling this day would come sooner or later. You still have a life ahead of you. It'd be a shame to watch it sink along with this broken village. I'm afraid Raven Dawn isn't for me, youngster. I'm just a shell of the man I once was. Just catching this mouse took all my strength. Say I survived the long voyage. What's waiting there for someone Excuse like me. me? An old and frail man. No. I'd rather live out the rest of my days inside my own home. The only one I've ever known. But. No but. I've chosen the ending to my story. But yours must still be written, youngster. Your parents would be proud if they could see you today. I remember Ravendorn was their dream too. Now get going. And leave this old man to enjoy his meal in peace. Farewell, Blaze. Good luck. Going the wrong way, bro. I picked that axe No. Oh, I got my own boat, bro. Let's get it. I was going the wrong way too. <laughs> ah, shipwreck. What happened here? Oh shit, bro. My first boss battle. Oh shit, no one's alive. Ooh, we just got crushed. Damn, bro. Now we're at Raven Dawn. Everything but drama, can you hear me? Lick, 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 everything but drama. This voice, Bandit, what happened? Keep back, wait, what, where, where am I? Everything was so chaotic after the monster attacked us and destroyed the ship. It took all my strength just to keep them from drowning. So much water, I swam as fast as I could, but when I got to shore, you were nowhere to be seen. I thought I had lost you forever. So if I'm still alive, that means... This is Raven Dawn. We made it. You and me, everything, Pajama. We survived the impossible. We crossed the endless seas. It can't be. How do you know for sure? I can't believe we are actually here. Look around. You see those rooftops? There are people living just south of here. I saw them with my own eyes. They rose out from beyond a huge stone wall with giant chickens as their mounts. Can you imagine that? Usually I'm the only one chasing birds around, but I wouldn't mess with these ones. It must be a city. We should head over there right now. Giant chickens. This is getting weird pretty quickly. <laughs> hey, didn't you hear the part about huge stone walls? There's a city nearby, everything but drama. I'm sorry, I was just trying to picture those chickens. I'm, I'm sure we'll come across some soon, but let's not waste any more time on this beach. Better keep moving. Wait, I'm so tired from swimming I can hardly walk right now, so I was hoping to ask you, would you mind carrying me inside your bag? 
If you don't mind squeezing along with everything else, of course not. I'll make some space for you. You're the best everything, but drama, I can hardly stand straight right now. Hop in. I'm guessing these are other players. Holy, that map, though. That's what's up. Follow the path through the woods. Will do, bro. Will do. I think I'm going the right way. Oh. with the fishermen near the slums. Now I gotta zoom in on this map. This map's huge, bro. Four to six. Trickle station weaving. Trickle station weaving. Market. Oh, we gotta go back there, bro. What am I doing? By the look of it, you went to take a leap on the beach, and a giant wave snuck up on you. Ah, oh, fresh off the boat, or perhaps I should say fresh out the water. Well, what's important is that you made it. You're not dead. Not yet, at least. Best get used to the monsters, though. This, most just call it the slums, but for a lot of us, it's home. Lots of new arrivals lately, and Ravencrest's walls aren't getting any wider. Hence our little village here. Guess you probably lost everything with the ship, huh? We can't afford charity here, but there's work available if you want some coin in your pockets. You'll need it. Technically, it's the Raven Guard's coin, but you could say I'm in charge of allocation. See, as if we don't have it bad enough, there's been a terrible rat problem. Not pests like these, you haven't. Big, nasty beasts. These rats were born and hardened in the bowels of the city. Sure, Ravencrest looks majestic from the sea. But what you can't see are the sewers overflowing with vermin. The Raven Guard keeps the city streets clean, but that's only pushed the rats out here where we have no one to defend us. They don't care about the slums. Instead oh, of there's choices, the rats, bro. They hired goblins to do their dirty work. The stinking green imps have even taken residence here. The audacity. I don't know about you, but I've never known a goblin to earn anything by playing fair. Well, no. Not yet, but that's not the point. The issue is they've been here for weeks, and the rat infestation has only gotten worse. Who knows? They might even be working with the rats. Anyway, maybe you can do something about this. They used to just infest our basements, but the vermin have gotten so bold that now they walk our streets openly. That's right. You'll go far here in Ravendorn with those kind of brains. I can't even walk home without getting attacked. Help clear out some rats. And I'll gladly pay you some of this coin the Raven Guard set aside for the matter. Roam the slums and see if you can kill at least five rats walking around the streets like they own the place. Makes me sick just thinking about it. Gotta kill some rats, bro.
digging the game so far though. So many people, bro. <laughs> Holy. set aside for whoever can kill them. Hey, not so fast. The real job's dealing with the big ones in our basements getting fat off our precious food. They must be dealt with before the infestation gets even worse. Find a cabin with a ladder leading underground, and kill any rats you find down there. They're tough bastards. See if you can kill at least one for now. Will do, bro. Will do. Where's the door to that place? That one's locked. Let's check our map here. Alright, so... All those places we went into, there's rats there, we just need to respawn. I'm just gonna chill right here and hopefully
head to toe covered in cobwebs. If that's not evidence of clearing out a basement, I don't know what is. Who knows with rats? Small brains. You'd think they'd build nests down there, but they don't seem interested. This is where we'll part ways. I, uh, I'm not sure I could afford to pay you much more. The Raven Guard are stingy with silver. They, uh, they didn't give us very much. Tell you what, I've been carrying around these potions in case a rat gets to me, but you take them along with the coin. It's not much, but I'm sure with your skills, you'll be wealthy in no time. Oh, agreed. That's why I always do the right thing, no matter what. Say, remember that other problem I mentioned? Yeah, would you mind just seeing if you can get them to leave? They're making everyone uneasy. We're just trying to get by. Nothing I've said had any effect. But I'm no fighter. Maybe you could try. If you don't mind now, I don't think my job I need to take someone else. That's all I'm asking. Thank you. I only wish I was that brave and strong, but alas. Damn, I got a lot of stuff. Cheese feet. Looks like you've got something to say, like all other humans in this place. All talk, talk, talk. We'll spit it out. We don't care to be here neither, but not one goblin is gonna leave till we're paid what we goblins is owed. Only reason we is here in the first place is because we heard there was work. You talk to Fritz, you know what I mean. We made a deal with the Raven Guard, but they gave the coin to Fritz to handle payment. That snake tongue thinks himself mayor of this dump. <sighs> My clan sacks, stacks vermin bodies to the sky, but Fritz refuses to pay us. Keep coin for himself. Cunning reminds me of my mother. The Raven Guard won't interject. The vermins is out of control. We goblins never would let it get this bad in our camps. Some goblins just want to work, not kill and steal. Give what we is owed and we'd be glad to leave this dirt hole. Fritz won't give the coin willingly. Us goblins no thieves. He'll have it stashed in a chest somewhere. So check his cabin when he ain't home. Follow the path south and then west. Fritz's cabin is the only one with a bench in front. That's where he always sits, his lazy bones. I'll see what I can find. Don't worry about the door being locked. I already got one of my tribe to pick it. Yeet, yeet, yeet. Good to know, G's feet. All right, where do we gotta go? Back over here. Search Fritz's cabin for any chest that might contain the goblin with held payment.
two chests here. There it is right there, bro. Sack of coins. Got it. Took long enough. I'd send one of my own, but humans already accused us enough of doing nothing but steal. Found this coin purse stuffed away in a chest. Here's your service, minus the cut, of course. I found nothing. Sorry. <laughs> Let's rob the fucking goblin, bro. Let's lie. We robbed him. Use just like the rest of them. If I'd known all humans to be like this, I would have kept to thieving. Maybe you think this to get rid of us. Wrong. Perk still owes this coin and until I has it in my clubs, we goblin stand. Good luck with that. Level six. That's nice. I like the combat more. Now that I'm used to it. Don't go opening the door of my room like that. Are you trying to get me killed? I'm looking for treasure, bro. So you break into people's houses looking for treasure. Are you a thief? Beat it, punk. Listen here, punk. Talked with the lady waiting outside her hut in Ravencrest slums. Let's try to be over here somewhere. There. You've got a bounce in your step. Care to help a frail old lady get a decent meal? I'm grateful for the help, but don't think that I need your pity. I'm no beggar after all, just rich in years. Rest assured, your help will be rewarded. Let me ask, might you have any experience handling wild boars? Oh, I don't remember asking, but thank you for sharing. To be clear, I don't want you to just kill the boars. I need the meat from their bones. One with nerves cut against the fibers and all dirty. Are you mad? You need to capture it, make it still, then end the suffering of the creature. Thankfully, this is all possible thanks to this old contraption I have right here. You can find some boar runs just past the bridge, heading east. I'll wait for you here. Use the trap to capture one boar. I wouldn't do that.
еще. Managed to keep the meat in good condition? Better be tasty. See, it may be rusty, but it's still trusty. You were quite fast cooking the meat, I'll give you that. You didn't cook it? Are you mad? mad? How do you expect me to chew it? Thankfully, some around here still behave like people. Do you smell that? Must be Marcella lighting up her old stove. She lives in the northwest part of the slums. Find her hut quick. Go on. You arrived just in time. I just made my special kebabs. Do you want some? Oh, right. Work should be your priority, especially while doing favors for Brigda. Come back here after you're finished if you need a meal. So what did she ask you to do? Oh, you should have said earlier. I'll prepare them right now. Brigda has done us all favors here in the slums. I'll make sure to make it special. It's only polite to repay her, right? We just cut it, season it, and now on with the cooking. Let's see. Looks good. To work such quality meat is a real treat. I didn't think I'd have this chance. Oh, don't worry, it will be fine. Cooking takes time. You can't rush it or the inside of the meat will be raw. What smell? Oh no, the kebabs. They're burned to a crisp. What are we gonna do now? We can't serve this to Brigda. Take the one I made for myself too. It's only fair after ruining her meal. I hope she won't mind the spices. Now, if you excuse me, I have to prepare more kebabs. Tell Brigda to swing by if she wants more. She's getting the burnt one, bro. I want the special kebab for myself. I know that sounds greedy, but... <laughs>
combat feels really good. Once you get used to it, it's a piece of cake. That took you some while. What was the delay? I was exploring the slums. Nothing much to see around these parts other than rats and shacks falling apart. But let's talk about the good part. Did Marcella cook the meat you got? Let me see it. Looks good at least. Not sure about the smell. I hope she used a new skewer. Ugh. This is terrible. Who would guess wild boar tastes that bad, hmm? Yes, uh, I think it could be that. The rats of the region have made everything rotten around here. Well, I should pay you for your work, right? You can have this. Don't you think you are in better shape than me to hunt for yourself? You should go see Father Richard in Ravencrest. It seems the church is helping the refugees arriving in Ravendorn. Maybe he can offer you something. Nice, almost level seven. Talk with the priest responsible for Ravencrest. So where's that? Uh, that's down here. Oh, I can chop this tree. Oh, I fucked up, bro. I fucked up again. And again? Holy, three for three. Four for four, holy, bro. I'm usually better at these mini games. There we go. Can I chop any more of these trees or what? Just that one, eh? Can I pick up this fungus on the ground? <laughs> mushrooms, bro, mushrooms. Choose a different arch type though. We'll go with uh, wizardry with witchcraft and then protection, probably. Or archery. We can actually view them too. So it's not that we're not going with protection. Maybe holy. Yeah, we'll go holy. Wizard with heals, bro. That's what we're doing. Holy. So witchcraft and then holy. Or er, holy and then witchcraft. Yeah, we'll do holy and then witchcraft. Ah, 
there's Father Richard in there. Ravencrest should be a haven for everyone who needs shelter, and I'll do whatever is in my reach to aid them. Desperation afflicts the heart of many these days, but heed the words of this elder when he tells you that robbery is not the solution. It may fill your pockets today, but bring you a dagger in the back tomorrow. However, I don't believe you stepped onto this holy ground for such a frivolous reason only. Am I right, child? Yes, I am. Or at least that's what I try my best to do. I see. Your fellow countrymen are often the ones who need the most help. Although they have managed to survive the endless seas, none arrive with a smile on their face, having lost so much. Yes, of course. I apologize for taking up your time with my own concerns. Although there are simply too many new arrivals for the royal coffers to support, we can prevent them from starving. The king decreed that a small territory should be set aside as community farmland for those without a home to plant and harvest their own crops. He's a king who cares about his people and shares the same ideal Lucian had when he first discovered Ravendorn, to build a place in this world that people can thrive in and call home. However, this is only possible because we receive assistance from the community. That's why I'd like to ask you a favor. We are always in need of basic materials to supply the needy, and the person responsible for community farmland is also responsible for delivering them to us. What I need you to do is to go speak with him and find out if there are any material he can spare us. Leave this temple and cross the market square, then follow the street east until you're outside the city walls. You won't have a problem finding it. There's a man there who will explain everything. Okay, so we're gonna go this way. Actually, no, I'll go down this way. All the way down. Howdy, pal. Pretty sure I've never seen you around here before, have I? A newcomer, then. That's good to know. For a moment, I thought you were just an any of the fancy pants. I'd have to kick it out of here for taking a stroll where you shouldn't. No butt kicking, please. Whoa. Wow, that's spite. It ain't spite, friend. Just reason. You see, the community farmland is a place dedicated for the homeless and the needy. Yet still there's nasty noblemen trying to take the farm for themselves, only so they can profit off its production. This is true though, you can't give people opportunity and expect others not to take advantage of it, that's very true. Unfortunately that seems to be the only way mankind sees world else around them. Sorry, I'm so used to being alone with my thoughts, I forgot to stop talking whenever there's someone listening. The community farmland is a space for anyone without the wealth to buy property of their own, can grow trees and plantations, breed cattle, chicken, pigs, or whatever they want. Now then, if Richard's in need of supplies, why don't you try using the community farmland to get a taste of farm life? From the beginning, of course, place a potato bed and small hairpin in the appropriate spot, then get back to me once you're done. How do I get a potato, bro? Is this a question? <laughs> I 
There's a fishing spot right there, bro. Can't get to it though. If I cancel this, will it go back? Oh, that's not good, bro. I didn't mean to do that. Fuck. Picking crops and animal pens is really easy since you're already in the farming section. You just need to choose which item you want to from this list. Let's go with potato. The icon on the top of the frame is the amount of effort required to place such item in the community land. Here is where you, you see your current effort and you can restore it by doing open world activities such as quests and monster hunting. Nice. Keep in mind, once you buy a plot of land and build your own house, the community farm won't be available anymore. So practice as you learn, as long as you can. That way you know exactly how to manage effort on your own land. Now, since the farmer asked for potatoes, you should start by selecting them in the list. There's some potatoes for you, bro. Don't forget you were asked for a small pig pen as well, but no worries. Just open the farm menu again, okay. And go to husbandry and small pig pen. Nice. This is looking great, everything pajama. I can almost feel like we're back at our old farm. Okay. Good job so far, everything but drama. I smell that familiar scent of manure coming out of the pen already. Stuff is great fertilizer for the plants, I guarantee it. Why are you telling me that? I'm sure you'll learn it on your own, but fertilizing the soil is the best way to increase the production of a given crop. Got it, but what should I do now? Just sit and wait? Usually, yes, but since these materials are for ritual, I'll help you in this matter with some of my old draining special elixir. It's one of a kind. Yeah, make them grow faster than a sneeze. You can't pal, sorry to disappoint, but Grandma's not in this world anymore and she was the only one who knew the formula, so don't get used to it. Ah, that sucks. Don't mention it. Now take a look at the crops you just grew. Golden potatoes and a beautiful fat pig. Why don't you harvest them and bring them to me so I can judge the outcome, huh? Well, butcher it to be precise, where do you think meat comes from, pal? You better get used to it if you're planning to cook things in the future, and let me tell you, you probably will. Alright, let's go harvest. Does it say F1? It does say F1. Nice, nice. Oh, I failed. Fuck. I failed again. Fuck. Got it. So how'd it go? Did you have any problems handling the farm? You can come back here whenever you want to administer the corner of this piece of land. It'd be reserved just for you. Why just the corner? I'd like to use it all. I can't guarantee you'll be able to manage it, and if you mess something up, I'm the only one who has to explain why the soil became infertile. Be patient, friend, as you become a more experienced farmer. Mayhaps I'll let you use them on other spots, too. Well, that'd be up to you. You can refine the material, materials you use to craft a wide variety of items through carpentry, cooking, or weaving. The leather you got from the butcher pig, for example, can turn out to be an elegant armor or helmet if you have the skill to do so. 
For the time being, I suppose, I suggest you start by crafting a trade pack, a package of supplies you can craft and sell at any trade post you find. They're valuable packs and the best way to raise some silver around here. A large, large wagon to see some, some presence of mine driving all around Ravendon. They turn some specific products into a trade pack and also buy them from you. But beware, ah, but beware, you can't trap the trade pack and sell it in the same post. Nice. Don't worry about a thing, just do my job. Send my regards to Father Richard whenever you see him again. Sell the trade pack driven by the firm and the trade pack and the ship here. Okay. Oh, that's way over there, bro. Holy. That's far. I'm enjoying the game so far, though. It's a lot of fun. Definitely. If you guys would like to check out the, the game, I'll leave my referral link in the description below. And you guys can sign up right away. It also gets you three days of free patrol. I have a feeling we're going to get sent out again. And my boots haven't even dropped nearby waters. Corvo Bay, the Rona Coast. Popular trade routes go through here. It's a dangerous job, and the merchants make more than enough. They should... Ah, it'd be no use. The merchants and nobles are in bed together. Everyone knows that. I'm just praying that the spice merchant doesn't show up today. Attracts pirates like sharks to blood. Everything, my friend, everything. I am a procurer of fine oddities, a merchant of the underground, a restributor of the lost items. I deal with the small treasures some people a fine lying around here. What if you're trying to hide some? I get it, you go around peddling stuff without caring about its origins. So you're a fence, no need to pretend it around me. What? Not at all, friend. The only thing I can't hide is my excitement about trade opportunities. Are you interested in my wares? <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, okay, fine. Let me offer you some. Let's see here. What's this? Looks like a plain old hat. What's this? A tear. It looks really bright and polished. Well, I won't deny it. I might have polished and cleaned it a bit. I like to keep my merchandise in shape, no matter its origin. The fellow who said that this to me, A, borrowed this from a renowned priest. The tiara might get a bit mm, dirty during the process of borrowing. Well, I made a small fortune selling all my stock here, so let me borrow this. Let me with a little project of mine, and the tiara, the tiara will be yours. What do you say? I'm going over to Gulerg next, and I'd love to have some mumble jumble looking stuff to sell there. If you fetch me just almost 100. Jeez. What if I didn't want to do that? Could have just clicked the X, so. Damn, you can build a ship and everything, eh? Sails, cabin, cargo. Let's go. I gotta talk to this guy right here. Let's get it. 220 silver. Craft a trade pack with the potato shank and leather. So that's this button down here, maybe? No. There's gotta be a trade pack button somewhere. Probably under professions. This mine just. Nope, this one right here.
Which one is it, bro? There's so many of them. So it's none of them, eh? Potato sink and leather. You get to learn how to craft a trade pot before you're thinking about the coin. I gotta talk to the guy at the docks again. Ah, okay, okay. Once crafted, the trade pack will disable PvP protection as long as you're holding it. If you die when carrying the trade pack, the trade pack will drop to the enemy. Anyone is able to pick up the trade pack. Are you sure you want to provide this? Don't kill me, bro, and I won't kill you. back child and just by the look of your hands I can tell you have been guarded your words warm my heart newcomer I hope you can appreciate our efforts to build a hopeful refuge here in Ravencrest Raven Dawn is a vast world waiting to be tamed you will face great dangers outside these walls but there are many I could tell you what he wrote is true but better for you to learn ah thank you very much this is exactly what I was expecting I'll have someone store them with our other provisions now, since you are not yet familiarized with your surroundings and are clearly more capable than the usual refugees, shall I give you a direction? The city's walls protect us from danger, but life outside of them is not so easy. A friend of the faith requested our assistance a few days ago, but our responsibilities are vast and our numbers few. Jensen lives just outside the city and you seem well suited for a job like this. The man's name is Jensen. He's the best winemaker in the whole region. His winery is just outside the East City Gates, along the road leading to the Glade Mire region. Before you head out, I must beg you to prepare yourself. It may mean the difference between life and death. Take this purse of coins and buy yourself some food, potions, or drinks. Consider it part of the reward. Basil's a renowned alchemist around here. You will find his shop to the west of this temple. The dawn will always welcome you back into its holy light, child. Okay, I don't think I'll need any uh, potions just because I got it. the archetype holy. Who was it I need to talk to again? Buy potions, food. Did you notice that you earn experience points every time you gather something? Depending on what you harvest, these points are assigned to the related profession. 
Nice. Professions. So I can get copper ore, rock ore. Now I gotta access the farming tab. Here you can see your profession level and current experience. The list has everything you'll be able to plant. Most of them are unavailable at the moment though. But as you become a more experienced farmer, more stuff will come up. Professions also have a passive skill tree which influences your progression directly. Every three profession levels you'll receive a new skill point that's been on a passive skill. Take just as much time as you need to learn what they can do. Nice. Damn, there's a lot. Sunberries, broccoli, acorn tree, garlic, moonberry, peas, watermelon, pumpkin, banana tree, beans, strawberries, onions, and the list goes on, bro. Nice. Everything inside this list can be crafted if you have the right ingredients. A good thing to remember when you're deciding where to sell your supplies is the trade post demand. The green number indicates how much the original place you receive in a specific trade post. And if you don't know where it, where it is located, just click at, the, click at the pinpoint on the right of the world map and it will pop up for you. Nice. Keep in mind you have only a single trade pack slot in your inventory. This means you can only not have more than one trade pack with you at a time. But if you own a wagon or a ship, you'll be able to use their components and carry more. Well, I'm pretty sure you're good to start crafting and selling some packs for yourself now. Try it out whenever you can. The best way to learn is through practice. Nice, nice, nice. I'm gonna go buy some potions though. Actually, I probably don't even need to buy potions. Like I said. Fish probes. It's probably a fishing rod. Somewhere. I'm just going to go to a random vendor. There's a vendor over here. I'll buy some drinks, I guess. Some beer. Or vodka. One of the two. Jensen. Oh, he's way over there, bro.
that's right there. Oh, I missed the door completely, bro. Or no, I didn't. Or did I? Yeah, I did. What's this? A visitor? Come to sample old Jensen's wine, eh? Good man, that priest. It's not easy living alone out here, you know, especially when you have pests. Bats have taken over me wine cellar. Impossible to access the barrels. And a life without wine, well, it's just not worth living. Will you clear the... Well, I'll be. Good to know some young folks are still willing to lend a hand to their elders every now and then. You'll find the cellar stairs in the back room. There's a door around the side of the house. The cellar connects to some old tunnels. You might have to explore a bit to find all the bats. All right, sounds good. That last one, damn it. I should have used a simple straw. I'll talk to Jensen. If you guys are enjoying the video, you made short smash work that of those like bats. button, smash that subscribe button. Ah, the button. joys of youth. Please take this. It's a rare bottle from my collection, one of my favorites. I hope... Ah, forgive me, but I'd hoped you could help me out with another matter. The old knees don't bend like they used to. Can barely get up the steps of my own house. Wonderful. That warms me old heart, almost as much as a good glass of berry wine. See this beard? It's no ordinary beard. The blood of dwarves runs through me veins. Mine's better this house rests atop the ruins of me ancestors, in fact. No one goes down there much anymore. But the tunnels are still filled with old dwarven statues. They may not be important to you, but they are to me. I may not be full-blooded dwarf, but it's in my heritage. I used to pay my respects to the statues, but ever since my knees started giving me trouble, it's been difficult. Dwarves love ale in death as much as they do in life. It's customary to pay respects by spilling ale on their statues. Good ale, that is. Might catch yourself a curse if you go around pouring swill on a dead dwarf statue. Here, take this bottle. It's not for you to drink. It's to pay respects. Supposedly it was my great-great-great-grandfather's favorite. Luckily, his statue is easy to find. It's on top of the small hill behind me house. Just go up there and pour it out. Indeed. By the way, I fear a key slipped out of my pocket last time I was up there. I'm not sure where it ended up. Maybe in a bush somewhere. Please keep an eye out, will you? Chop these trees.
that you should be here somewhere. Get it. I don't figure out where the statue is. Kind of lost at the moment. <laughs> I'm trying to find a way out of here. Maybe through here. I tried to save you, bro. Enjoyed, smash that like and subscribe button. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.